I'm really excited for today's video because we're going to show you how to create an e-commerce website using Hostinger's AI website builder. If you're looking to create a great looking e-commerce website with very little cost up front in an insanely short amount of time, then this video is for you. As of right now, Hostinger is running an offer where you can get a hosting plan for $2.49 per month plus two months for free. So stick around to the end of the video because you're not going to want to miss us showing you how to get that offer and how to set up your e-commerce store. But before we get into showing you how to set up your e-commerce site, let's first talk Talk about what Hostinger's AI Website Builder is and what it does. Hostinger's AI Website Builder is an all-in-one intuitive platform that uses artificial intelligence to streamline website creation. By answering a few simple questions, the AI generates a fully functional, personalized website with completely tailored design, content, and color scheme in just seconds. It features a drag-and-drop editor for easy customization without any coding skills needed, and it also includes AI-powered tools like their AI Writer, AI Image Generator, AI SEO Assistant to optimize optimize your content and visuals. Bundled with hosting services and a free domain, it offers a quick, cost-effective solution for small businesses and individuals to launch a professional, responsive website effortlessly. Okay, now that we know exactly what the platform does, let's show you how to create your e-commerce website using Hostinger's AI Website Builder. Go ahead and click on that link down below in the description. That'll bring you to the Hostinger signup page, and we'll go ahead and get started and show you how to do that here. Once you've clicked on our special link down below in the description, it should bring you to a page that looks similar to this, and you'll see that it's the giant hosting or sale here, 80% off web hosting currently. Now, just as we talked about, there's a free domain and website migration. You can run WordPress or any other CMS to fully manage web hosting plan, 24 seven customer support. And the great deal is that it's from $2 and 49 cents per month, plus an extra two months. And this also has a 30 day back money guarantee. So there really is no risk for you to get started today. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund your money within 30 days. All right, let's go ahead and get started to do that. Let's click start now. And that'll bring us down to the different plans that we get to choose from. So there's the premium plan, the business plan, and the cloud startup plan. Let's just go ahead and review some of the features of each of these plans so we can show you some of the differences. Notice that these are all for 48 month terms. We'll show you how to change that here in a second, but if you want to go with something lower, it's just going to be a little bit more expensive per month. The premium plan comes with 100 websites, 25,000 monthly visits, 100 gigs of storage, 400,000 files and directories, pre-built templates, unlimited free SSL, a free email, weekly backups, and all of these other features. Now the difference between that premium plan and the business plan, like we said is if you scroll down, they have more features in terms of their WordPress management, as well as their hosting or website builder. Here, you can get all of the AI tools that we talked about earlier. So this is really the plan that we're going to recommend, especially if you're building your e-commerce site. And lastly is the cloud startup plan. This just allows you to host more websites, allows you for more monthly visits, more file storage. It also includes standard WooCommerce, which we're not going to use because we're using the AI website builder. When you're just getting started out, you're probably not going to need this cloud startup plan. So we say the best one right now to start with is this business plan, because it's going to include all of those AI features with the hosting or website builder. So let's go ahead and choose this plan. And once we've done that, it'll bring us to this page here where we have to choose our hosting period. Now, the best deal is for 48 months, but that's kind of a long time, obviously. So if you want to go with something lower, the only one we really don't recommend is the one month. The one month is going to be $13.99 per month. There's a $5 setup fee. You don't get a discount. It's really not worth it. So if you want to get this deal, you need to lock in for at least 12 months. But like we said, it's a really great deal. It's going to bring your total to $47.88, but you also want to be sure to include our special discount code, which is my first website. And once you apply that discount code, you're going to get an additional couple of dollars off. And it brings your total down to $43.09 for the entire year of web hosting, which is an insane deal. All right. So as you can see, our total went to $3.59 per month with that 12 month plan. So let's go ahead and continue. Now let's go ahead and create our account. If we don't have one already, I already have an account. So I'll go ahead and log into mine and then just go ahead and verify your authentication code. And once you've done that, it'll bring us to this page here and you'll have to fill out your billing information. So let's go ahead and do that. Ours is already filled out here and you'll see that our coupon is still applied. In terms of our web hosting for that 12 months, it's $43.09. Our daily backups are included. Our domain name is included. Our setup is included and our domain privacy protection is also included. Let's go ahead and continue to the payment option here. You can go ahead and pay with a card, PayPal, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Alipay, however you like. We'll just go ahead and enter a card here. And once you're done with that, make sure that you still have that coupon code applied and your total is $43.09 for that 12 month hosting plan. You can go ahead and click submit secure payment and you're all set to go. Now, once you've submitted your secure payment, it's going to walk you through a couple steps to set up your account. Now, because we've already done that, we're on the hosting or dashboard here. So my page might look a little bit different than yours, but we're just going to go down here to websites here. And then we're going to go to add website and we'll do the hosting or website builder. Like I said, you should be logging in and it should be prompting you to select the hosting or website builder automatically. You should get to a page that looks very similar to this at some point in the journey. And let's go ahead and create our e-commerce store here. So let's go ahead and name our brand. Now the description is very important to 
to helping you build a cohesive website. The more information that you can give the AI here, it's going to be better at creating some of the tools or features that you want on your site. So be sure to include as much information here as you can. So we can say something like my first website is an e-commerce brand. And as you can see, as soon as we type in e-commerce brand, it gives you the suggestion here to add an online store to my site. This is Hostinger's proprietary e-commerce setup. It's really simple. We'll show you how to use it here in a second, but it makes it very easy to see all of your orders, your basket, and adjust any other tools that you're going to need for your store. So be sure to leave that one click. Okay, so this is the information that I gave. Let's go ahead and create the website and see what it does. All right, and now it's created this website for us. So this is pretty neat just to start off. The first thing you need to know is you can go ahead and create it again if you don't like this and it'll generate something new. But let's go ahead and work with this one now. And on the right-hand side here, we can change the color scheme if we want to. So let's go ahead and choose something a little different. I kind of like the blue. So we'll see that our shop now button is here. There's a buy and a browse section. And I'm sure under shop, they have all of our features here. Yep, you can see that it put in placeholders for our merchandise, which is neat. If we go home, we can go ahead and see some of the other things that it has, like our tote bags, our t-shirts and hoodies, which we told them were our best sellers. And then it also has our customer reviews at the bottom, our gallery of some of the photos of our product. And then at the bottom, we can also reach out to our website here, which is really neat. So let's go ahead and click continue on the right hand side. All right, we can also create gift cards. That's pretty cool for our website. Here, it's going to give us a very intuitive process to set up your store. So let's go ahead and look at some of this. The first thing is to add your first products to set up your payment method to update your company information and to review your setup and shipping. So let's go ahead and walk through some of these. Okay, we're going to add our first product. Now this is going to be a physical product. Like we said, it's going to be one of our t-shirts. So you can actually upload images and generate product details with AI, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and look at this. That's just going to ask you to upload an image. It's going to pull the information off the image. So you can go ahead and upload an image, give your image a title and a subtitle and a description as well. What's really neat about the AI features is you can go ahead and click AI writer here and let's go ahead and write in our description. So it's very similar to how it created the website. You can just give it a short description and it'll generate some text. Let's just say my first website branded t-shirt and we can go ahead and generate a text and let's see what it says. And just like that, it gave us this little blurb. After weeks of brainstorming and designing, I finally decided to launch my website. So it gives us a little bit of information about our t-shirt. So we'll just go ahead and keep that for now. We can go ahead and change the pricing here. So let's say we want to make the t-shirt $20 and we want to give it a skew. We can also track the quantity here. There's also some options and a custom field that maybe your customer wants something engraved they can write that here and then there's also categories that you can use like the ai suggested artistic appeal once we're finished with that product you can go ahead and click save in the bottom right hand corner and you'll see that it added the t-shirt to our other placeholder items here let's go back to the store setup and we can set up a payment method here here you can connect your stripe which is probably what we recommend or paypal or you can do manual payment as well updating company information let's go ahead and change the company name and then you can upload your logo here you can change the contacts and address here we already have our email we can just go ahead and enter our address and then once you're ready you can click save to that all right and then we can review our shipping options here as well our shipping zone can just be the americas and then we can add a country the united states and then we can save that and then you can also edit your regular shipping here right now it says the rate's free but we can do a flat rate of five dollars and then we can add that here all right so that's how we have all the basic things set up for our store let's go ahead and review some more information on the website let's go to edit website in the top right hand corner and that's going to allow us to edit our products and our store so this left hand column has everything that you need here the site setup checklist is what we're going through and that's going to guide you through all the steps you need in order to launch your website. So we're going to edit the heading text, update the image, edit the paragraph text, update social media, and all these other things that we need to do before we get started. The plus icon is going to allow you to add elements onto your site here. You can go ahead and do that. So the elements are there. The pages and navigation are here. You can add things. You can take away pages and other things for navigation. The website style is here. You can change these if you like. The AI tools are pretty neat. These are all the AI tools that are included with that business plan like the AI image generator, the AI writer, the page generator, blog generator, section generator. All of these are really helpful in creating content for your site. Okay, the most important information we have to go over is the manager store section. It's this little cart icon here. We did the initial setup. We have to just add our payment method, which we walked you through earlier. And then here we have our orders, our product page template, our products, appointments, discounts, categories, and settings. Let's go ahead and go to settings real quick and we can edit some of the settings for our website. So our store details are here. Our currency is in USD. We can go ahead and go to company information, which we already set up. Then there's payments, which we did to connect our PayPal or Stripe. We already reviewed shipping. The checkout process is here. We can go ahead and click on terms and condition and privacy, and you can go ahead and paste the policy link from your website here. That's going to allow people to click on them in the checkout process if they'd like to see them. There's also custom options that you can do for checkout, like require a phone number or add a custom field, like an email address. And then our store language is obviously in English. In terms of emails, we can go here and preview all the emails that will be sent out, like the order confirmation, shipping 
shipping information, digital file appointments, gift card invoices. You can change all that here. The taxes section is here. You can go ahead and add rules and then there's invoices here. This is how our invoice is going to look. Looks pretty good. And then you can go ahead and change the invoice number on the right hand side here. Let's go over to the orders on the store. So we don't have any orders yet, but this is where the orders will pop up when they do start coming in. And then as we showed you earlier under products, we have our placeholders that they added for us and then the one t-shirt that we added ourselves. You can enable appointments here. These are online appointments for your business. And then there's also discount codes that you can add that will work on your website here. Here are categories that you can add and change to. Like if you have a bunch of different t-shirts or a bunch of tote bags or sweatshirts, you can go ahead and categorize them here. Those are all the basic things you need to know about setting up your store. As you can see, Hostinger makes it super simple and easy to use. If you click on the three buttons here, you can go ahead and see some other options like blog and appointments. These are individual pages that you can include on your website that are already kind of pre-templated. Going back here, we can go into integrations and we can integrate with a bunch of different websites. In terms of forms and submissions, you can create a form and view your submissions here. You can also view analytics. You can view some SEO settings here as well. And it has an AI SEO assistant, which can generate new SEO information for you, which is cool. You can also do a couple of other things here like multi-language. You can look at your media library and manage your backups as well as export your content to WordPress if you don't want to continue using the hosting or AI website builder. At some point, your e-commerce brand might get a little bit too big to work on Hostinger's AI website builder, and then you can transfer to something like WooCommerce on WordPress. As you can see, all of Hostinger's e-commerce features within their platform are super easy and simple to use. And like I said, if you want other videos showing you exactly how to set up your website, we have other videos on the channel. I just wanted to make sure to show you the most important things you needed to know for your e-commerce website here in Hostinger's AI website builder. So with that said, that's all the information we have for you today on how to create an e-commerce website using Hostinger's AI website builder. Like we said earlier, all the resources that we talked about are going to be down below in the description, like the other videos on the channel that we have about Hostinger's website builder, as well as the link below to sign up for Hostinger. Now, this is an affiliate link and we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. Just know that this really helps us keep creating free videos like this for you. So thank you so much in advance for helping us out there. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and you got value from it, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this in the future. And lastly here, this channel is dedicated to providing free resources and videos to help you start and grow your first website. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you again back in the next video.